Human rights as defined by international agreements in the middle of the last century include two sets of rights. Civil and political rights, which we generally talk about, and economic, social and cultural rights. Over the last 20 years or so, a lot more attention has been given to this second group of rights, what I'll call social rights. The problem is that the uh, traditional measures that are used, that there are as many people working on these rights, there are as many hours of debate, there are as many resolutions and so on, are actually very misleading. The reality is that when we talk about human rights, we continue to basically exclude social rights. They remain really second class. I think we need to reevaluate the way in which we're approaching these rights. The biggest challenge for me is the, is the recognition of them as human rights. So if we look at constitutions around the world, there are many constitutions where social rights are recognized. What we find, except in a handful of states like South Africa, Colombia, India, and so on, is that the courts, when confronted by challenges, say, I oh, know, those are not real human rights, we're not going to apply them. When governments use the rhetoric of social rights, it's important to look at their own legislation. And again, we find that governments don't include that recognition in legislative form. So in fact, these are sort of shadow rights, they're phantom rights. I think that much of the work that's been done by NGOs, by international organizations and others has been misdirected. I think we need to go back to making sure that the basic building blocks are in place. That includes, for me, recognition of the rights. Secondly, institutionalization. In other words, setting up institutions to promote economic and social rights. And thirdly, accountability. There need to be some sort of accountability mechanisms. Certainly doesn't need to be courts all the time. Uh, in fact, courts are probably the last resort only. But there are many other institutions. We've got very few of them at present. So economic and social rights are not being taken seriously, and I don't think we're pursuing the right strategy. My report to the UN Human Rights Council calls for all of those involved to really get back to basics, to try to work on those three elements of recognition, institutionalization, and accountability, and I believe that's the way forward.